Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a single sales funnel for your entire WooCommerce store. That's right. Uh, in this video, we will be creating a sales funnel that is going to replace your traditional WooCommerce checkout uh, and then you can make amazing offers such as order bumps, upsells and downsells. All right. And uh, to do this, we'll be using our add on global funnels. All right. That's uh, the add on that allows you to create conditional sales funnels so that depending on what your buyers want to purchase, uh, he can be brought into the funnel. Now, in this video, the condition I'm going to use is any product selected. So any product is purchased by anyone, he'll enter this funnel. OK, so let's begin. Now, as you can see, I'm on my funnel overview page and let me just go ahead and create a funnel. So click on add new funnel and this is going to give me the options to import a template. So let me just go ahead and let's say I'm going to import this template. And there you go. Uh, the template has been imported. Now, to initiate global funnels in this funnel, what you need to do is on the top, you can see this option that says enable global funnel. So simply click on this to enable this and you can see that this is changed. You don't have access to the landing page because a global funnel means that someone is going to come to this funnel directly uh, from the shop page or the product page and come into the checkout page. So you just need steps from the checkout page and onwards. All right. Now, before I go ahead and set up the conditions in this, I would like to show you how my traditional checkout works. OK, now uh, this is a product that I have in my shop, uh, which is a book. Let me just add this to the cart and view the cart. Now, this is the cart page. And when I click on proceed to checkout, it's taking me to the basic checkout page of my WooCommerce store. OK, so let me just uh, go back and remove the product from the cart because I do not want to purchase it now. Uh, now, uh, let me go back to the funnel and here I'm going to choose the condition so that this replaces my WooCommerce checkout. So select the checkout step, click on the configure icon and it will open up the settings drawer. And here you can see there's this option to choose the condition, which is enter funnel if. So here, if I click on this, you can see there are several conditions that I can use. For this funnel, I'm going to use any product is selected. So if I select this, it means whatever product is selected by any buyer, they're going to enter this funnel. OK, so let me just go ahead and save this. And let me just go back to the canvas. OK, so now uh, before I show you a live representation of how this works, let me just preview this page so that you know how the checkout design looks uh, for my funnel after I imported the template. So this is how the checkout page looks when I imported the template. OK, now. Uh, let me go back to the canvas and now I'm going to, uh, you know, purchase a product from my store and then show you that it's going to take me into the funnel checkout. So now I have that same product open in another tab, uh, which is this one again, the same book. And if I click on add to cart and click on view cart it's the same pages. It's like the same WooCommerce uh, process. But now when I click on proceed to checkout, this is taking me into my funnel checkout. You can see this is the design I just showed you uh, of my funnel checkout. Uh, and it's very different from the traditional WooCommerce checkout. So this means now whatever product your buyers want to purchase and he's going to enter the funnel and he's going to see this checkout page. OK, now obviously I didn't change any content here because I just wanted to show you how it's done. Uh, but when you create your funnel, make sure to change the content colors and everything to match it to your website or match it to your offers. All right. So let me go back to the canvas. And now, since I have set up this funnel to bring anybody in, uh, uh, into this uh, funnel checkout page, now it's time to set up order bumps and upsell and downsell offers. Uh, let me just add one order bump and show you how it's done. If I click on the settings icon again for the checkout uh, and go to the order bump page, I can click on add order bump. And then here I need to choose a product. So let me just choose another bundle for Ken Follow. So this is a bundle. And I can, you know, design order bumps and everything. So I'll leave a link to the guide to order bump in the description so that you know how you can design your order bump. You can see I have different uh, options to design this however I want. So let me just stick to style too. This looks pretty nice. Uh, now let me just click on save. Uh, and that's it. Now, if I go back to the checkout page where I had the product added already, uh, and if I just reload this page, and you can see that I have that offer uh, over here. 
Okay. So the idea is that I can bring people into my funnel to make them specific order bump offers. All right. At the same time, I can also make them upsell offers. It's really simple. Click on add step and, you know, import an upsell step. So let me just import this one. And then, you know, just uh, reconnect everything into proper order. You do not need the checkout to be connected to the thank you page anymore. So I'll just change that with upsell and there you go. So this is in a proper order. Now here is a special thing as well that I'll show you in another video that the upsell can also be dynamic. You can see that I have different conditions to uh, choose upsells. But for this video, I'm just going to choose specific product. And let's say I'm just going to make another can folded offer. Uh, let's say four books and save this. Uh, so what this will mean is that whoever comes to my checkout, completes the checkout process, then he's going to go to the upsell page and get an offer on the uh, book that I just selected now. Right. So that's how easy it is to create this sales funnel where this is replacing your entire WooCommerce store. OK, so uh, just go ahead and use this condition if you just want people uh, to enter the funnel. This is very effective for uh, industries that sell uh, products from a single category, maybe or very few categories so that you, know, you can make similar offers all the time. All right. But obviously we have other conditions that will make it more meaningful. In the next few videos, I'm going to show you more conditions to bring in people into your funnel. And also I'm going to show you different videos uh, to use dynamic upsell offers in your uh, global funnels. All right. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. Take care.